Welcome back to the last video in chapter three. Uh, we are going to be covering the focusing really on the last learning objective, preparing the trial balance from all these steps that we've done um, with a few kind of quick tie backs to our journalization and posting. So that's why it's still these three learning objectives with a heavy, heavy focus on this fifth one. Because step five of the accounting cycle is preparing the trial balance. So we have a list of our general ledger accounts and their balances, um, just like we saw in the last end of the last video, as at the end of an accounting period. We have to make sure that all of those debits equal all of those credits, because really, they're individual journalized components do. Why shouldn't the sum of all of the debits and credits also? It's necessary, it's required um, for our trial balance to balance, because if our trial balance doesn't balance, well, neither do our financial sheets, and you can't have a balance sheet without balance. So um, understanding our trial balance, we can then uh, create our financial statements, which you saw in chapters one and two. And however, it's like the trial balance needs to be right. However, um, just because it balances or just because it's there doesn't mean it's correct. Uh, maybe there's some journal, I. Some items, some transactions that you should have journalized that weren't there so that we have missing transactions. Um, maybe the amounts were journalized in the correct amounts. Maybe there was duplicate postings. Um, maybe there was uh, reversed. So, you know, where you thought you had a debit, you put a credit. Where you thought you had the credit, you put the debit. So just because it's there and balanced doesn't mean it's correct, but it does need to be there and balanced in order for it to be correct. This video is going to be focused largely on one large example where the goal is to create a trial balance just like this one that you see in your textbook where you have um, all of your balance sheet and um, balance sheet assets, balance sheet liabilities, balance sheet equities, and your income statement, revenues and expense accounts where your debits all equal your credits. So this is the end goal. Our second last side is going to be working through practice. So uh, just like with other practice problems, um, please take a look and see if you can take where we left off, not really like we, we, um, but take where this Holly Corp corporation left off. So all of the transactions have been journalized. All of those journals have been posted uh, to their T accounts. And right now we're left with basically where we ended up last video. However, we need to then um, take these items and we need to create a trial balance. So I'll ask you to pause this video now. And when we come back, we will trial balance this thing together. Talk to you soon. All right, so first things first, let us sum up all of our accounts because we have the journals uh pardon me we have the kind of little mini t accounts here but we don't have the ending balances so let us do that we have cash and it should be a debit balance but we will see um so here we'll say the account here we will say the amount and here's where we'll say if it's a debit or a credit ending balance all right so What I'll do here is the amount, and I'm going to take in all of these items and add them together because they're on the left side or debit side of our cash account, and minus all of these transactions here. So 2,000 plus 650 plus 500 minus 400 minus 150 minus 300 minus 1250 minus 500, and I'm left with 550. And this is gonna be a debit balance because I started with my debits and I added them together and I minus all my credits. So we're left with a debit balance. Okay, let's do the same thing with accounts receivable. Uh, so we are going to take all of our debits and add them up, 800 plus 1940 less 500, 2240 and a debit balance. All right, so I'm gonna do a little formatting here. 
and move along to my next one. Supplies. Well, I only have one thing. It's $400. It's in a debit balance because it's on the left-hand side. Moving along. Same thing with equipment. $3,500 and still in a debit balance. And now we have accounts payable. So I was friendly and last time I split our assets on one side and our liabilities on the other. However, these people were not super friendly. So keep an eye out. Accounts payable is a liability. A P, um, A P. And so we're gonna start off with our liabilities. Um, and that's a default credit. So when I'm adding them, I'm now gonna start on the left-hand side. So I'm gonna add, pardon me, the right-hand side. I'm gonna add 250 minus the debits, which is 150. So that's going to be a $100 credit balance for accounts payable. Okay, I'm just love friendly, it's because this is an asset, 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 liability. All right, accounts payable, keep going. Um, next, I have my income tax payable. I'm just going to say IT um, payable. And there's only one item. It is 180, and that is a credit balance. It's on the left hand. It's on the right hand side. It's on the right hand side. It's on this side, and it's a credit balance, and it's a liability. So it's in its natural, natural state. All right, deferred revenue. Same thing, one item, 650, and it's natural state of a credit. Cool, cool. All right, bank loan payable. Bank loan payable. I really didn't want to have to extend that, but here we are. Mm -hmm. One item, 3,500 for a credit balance. And now I'm hitting my equity. Um, I have my common shares my common shares and that's one item 2000 and it's my credit balance dividends declared declared and this is gonna be a remember where this is when we pay our investors we're like thank you for investing in us we're going to give you some of um, our profits we're going to share them with you we're going to share some dividends and that's going to be a natural debit balance because it's almost like an expense um but really it's just us saying hey thank you so much it reduces our retained earnings so it's a debit balance here and moving along we have our service revenue and we have two items there and revenues are typically in a credit balance so we will start off with just that 800 plus 1940 if you're wondering where i'm here i am right here and we are gonna move it along. That's a credit balance, 2740, fabulous, fabulous. Salaries, expense is right below. Expenses are natural debit balance. And we have 500 on the left. And that's it, just the one of them. Cool. All right, um, advertising. One item, 250, pardon me, 250. Expense, advertising expense, advertising expense. 250, debit balance, rent expense. 1250, same, same, debit balance. Income tax expense, one item, 180. All right. So now we have uh, like just this turned into a summary of debits and credits, and now it is time to make our trial balance. So friendly reminder, we want to turn this into something that looks like this. All right, so we're going to list our accounts, assets, liabilities, equity, revenues, expenses, with our debits on the left and our credits on the right. Okay. So now that I have this, I feel like I can get rid of it. So I am, bye bye. And now I am going to call this my trial balance. No marks for pretty, but why not spend 10 seconds? Trial balance, all right. Not that this is super pretty, but you get the point. 
All right, let's start off with all my assets. And this is going to be a debit side and debit. Uh, just want a little separation. This will be the credit. By the way, if you don't make sounds, are you really thinking? Are you really working? I don't know. Um, okay, so we're going to take our cash and move it here and move the debit balance to here. You can see where I'm going with this. I'm going to start getting a little fancy. We got three in a row that are debits, three in a row that are assets. Cool, we're going to do this and move this along here. If you want, we can make these a color. What's our favorite color today in this video? Maybe it's red. Oh, that's not red. That's orange. That's not red. Maybe it's yellow. <laughs> all right. Um, accounts payable. All right. It's a liability. I got through all the assets, so we'll move to liability. And we have four here. And oh, look at that. They're all credit balances happy with how that turned out. Make you yellow because I've now transferred you to my trial balance. All right, all right, all right. So we also have our common shares. You are also a credit balance. You are part of our equity. Fabulous. Moving you along. All right, now we have dividends declared. So dividends declared is going to be rolling up to our retained earnings, but right now it's just an account and it's in a debit balance. So you get to hang out over here, retained earnings. Okay, revenue. You are going to increase our negative income. You are credit. And all of the other items are an expense and they are in their traditional expense debits. So we are gonna move these over to here. All right, so this is the point where in class I would always get a little nervous and I'd be lying to say if I wasn't nervous with you all right now. And why am I nervous? Well, because I have declared over and over and over that debits must equal credits. So, debits. And credits. Oh, thank goodness. And I promise you this is first take. Because not only would that be kind of embarrassing, but um, I don't know. Annoying, maybe. Embarrassing and annoying. The, the one, two, perfect combo. All right. Uh, and by the way, I know I should, how do I say this? When you're learning something, love right answers, or like right answers, love wrong answers. When you're a prof who should be able to do this in her sleep, you are just like, oh, thank gosh, I didn't like transpose a 50 to a 500 or something like that. You know, it's very easy to have some typos. Um, I love teaching this stuff. I love, you know, helping you understand the language of business. I am just really cognizant that sometimes the brain says 500 and writes 50. So we are balanced. We have our trial balance in order of assets, liabilities, equity, revenues, and expenses. Peoples, we did it. This is chapter three. And if you'd like a sneak peek for what's going on in chapter four, you are in luck. You did a fabulous job analyzing. Is it a transaction? You know, somebody gets fired. Not a transaction that we journalize. Not an economic um, reality that we need to capture on the face of the financials. Somebody gets fired and paid out severance? Absolutely, journalizing that economic event. We know how to post it, we know how to use T-accounts, we know how to post it um, to our general ledger and prepare a trial balance. Next chapter, we are going to be journalizing, posting even more different types of entries. We are gonna continue preparing our trial balance, making financial statements, and then really focusing on um, what we do post-closing journal entries. So we're gonna introduce a new class of journal entries and then um, post those and um, make the trial balance. So learning, repeated exposure, same or similar materials, just like chapter two built on chapter one. Chapter four will build on chapter three. And chapter three is really um, an extenuation, uh, extenu, 
Oh goodness, not re-recording this now. So it's just an Oh my gosh, um, we are just continuing on with mastering how to build financial statements, how to capture the economic reality of a corporation and you know code it and make it into information that is usable. Thank you so, 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 so much. I hope you have a great week ahead and we will see you in the next video.